that light not working? Oh, I Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're back again. Sorry we missed uh, last Monday. Last Monday. Uh, last Monday. Good morning. But we are. We we have returned. It was a holiday. <laughs> really, it was Columbus Day. I guess you know. I, I, I it took me a while to even f figure out what holiday you were talking about. <laughs> because you know what, when we were when I was when, when when I lived up north when I was a little kid, they used to celebrate Columbus Day. They used to, um, you know, people used to go out and they used to parades and stuff. But when, we, when, we, when I moved here, not so much, not so much the Why big celebrations. I don't know. I think I think there's a lot more Italian people uh, who, who who lived up north at the time than lived here. Uh, Columbus was Italian, so I think that that's probably it. Um, and of course, Columbus was still in right right then. Columbus is kind of on the outs now. Uh, in form of, he's not politically correct. He's not politically correct. He is not. But I'll take the holiday. <laughs> well, take it while you can, because there are forces who are saying that, that should no longer be a holiday again. Uh, so, especially named Columbus Day. As a matter of fact, in Columbus, Ohio, the town named after Christopher Columbus, they did not have a, Colum a Columbus Day celebration. Sad. That's the way. We, that's that's how we do things now. Anyway, because of the holiday, we were not here. Uh, but um, good morning. Uh, but we are back today, and we are going to um, address something that um, you know. There are a lot of sayings that people say, especially people in the mm -hmm. church, um, that maybe we should take another look at. Uh, and this is one today, and um, this came from some something that, that we both went to we on went Thursday to the seminar on, on, on Thursday or Friday that the, that the leader of the seminar mentioned. He and his wife mentioned uh, the whole saying is uh, the couple that prays together stays together, and that's said a lot in the church realm. You know, the people speak it, and and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's kind of like partial truths because we still see so many divorces in uh, the church realm, uh, and you know that those people have prayed together. But for some reason, people do what? They get divorced. They even, grow apart. They grow apart. Even, and even in, even in the ministry. So you know that mm -hmm. a lot of people in the ministry are, pay, are, are praying together. They're playing as families. They've got a routine um, that they pray together. And we still, and, and we still see divorces not just um, in the pews, but we see divorces in the pulpit. Um, and more now, I guess, I guess because I'm, I'm sensitive, older. Sensitive to it. And sensitive to it. But... Um, you know, we there's several people that we know that you know ended up with divorcing, and sometimes it's necessary if you're battling each other so bad until you're in misery, then maybe maybe you shouldn't be together. But the the word of God says that we you know He doesn't like divorce. Yeah, he, he yeah. doesn't like divorce. As a matter of fact. Uh, both of the first two pastors that I had personally, um, they're both divorced. They weren't divorced when when I met them, but they're I mean, but they're both divorced now. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, your first experience with church. Per, with church, both of those pastors are divorced. Um, so, <clears throat> it seems to me that um, that maybe there's there is a little bit more. And um, Keith, Doctor Keith Johnson. Uh, we were at the Accelerate 18 um, in Lutz uh, this um, this past week, and um, he and his and his lovely wife Bonnie proposed something else, 
that maybe it's not just a couple that prays together. Like Debbie said, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you do and that, you should awesome. do it. And if you do that, that's awesome. But that's not the primary thing. The primary thing is that the couple that grows together stays together. Um, because you hear all the time that people grew apart. Um, they may have prayed together, but they grew apart. Uh, they may um, have, may be together, but have nothing to nothing to talk about. Nothing in common. Nothing to you know that they like to do because the the primary fact is the older you get, you will change your likes and things that you two like to do together when you first got married may not be something that you like anymore or may not be something that you can do anymore yeah and something and, yeah, that's <laughs> as true. you get older that's true that that is that is crazy true and um or it may not or frankly it may not have been something that you ever liked but you went along early in your early in your relationship um and now uh you're at the point where you don't feel you have to do that anymore um, but because you're not growing in other areas, not growing together as a couple, um, that will cause stress and strain on on, on, on relationships. Uh, there are a lot of books out there about self-growth, and there's a lot of encouragement about you know you have to grow as a person. But once you're uh, once you're a married couple, especially you've been a married couple for a while, it's important that the that the coupling grows. Grows. Um, and at the it, same pace. At the same pace. So that's that's a really important thing. Um, so it's it, so it's not just praying together. Although again, that's important. I don't want people people to write the comments about you know we've gone off the deep end and this you know and uh, my goodness this is heresy. Not at all. Not at all. But I want people to think about something. Think about it a little deeper um, than just praying together um, and because that can be because that can speak can become so perfunctory that could just be sort of well we just well every morning we get together and we pray and then everybody's everybody says the right words and then off you know what you're off on your day and you're weak and outside of that there isn't anything else that draws you together nothing else that draws you together uh, and 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 that simple perfunctory prayer, you know, what every morning may not just may not be enough, because you're just saying people are just saying words. People do that all the time. People just people pray. Repeat, they repeat what they hear. And church people are good. Good at remembering things and just repeating it when you're actually not living it. I'm just saying it. You're just saying it because it sounds super spiritual and it sounds right. And, you know, because uh, like Dr. Keith was saying, you know, a lot of times you ask people, well, how are you doing? Well, I'm blessed and highly favored. I am, you know, you say all the right little things and stuff, but then you don't look like you're blessed. You, you look like you're tired and worn down and, you know, you, you overweight. <laughs> you know your car <laughs> your car is filthy dirty and packed and you know it, it, it well you know and, and, you know it's broken down and you know what and the and you got all sorts of other other obvious problems your health isn't good and you're just saying it you're just saying it but not doing anything to improve well, it you just you know I, but, but the thing is you're just saying people just say stuff just you know you know there's there, there's church stuff to say you know stuff you're supposed to say in a church i'm blessed and highly favored well, that that indeed is true. That's good. But are you living a blessed lifestyle? Are you living a blessed lifestyle? Can can someone who doesn't know you look at you and say, "No, oh, that that guy's blessed. Look at him. Look at him. look at you. He looks good. He's healthy. He's, you know what? He's he's cheerful all the time. There's not negative things coming out of his mouth." Because in church we have we are much different than a lot of times than we are outside of church. You know, we're much different on, on, you know, on Tuesday than we are in church on Sunday. And especially the way we act and the way we think. So um, that can also fall into the relationship. So while you're in a relationship and, you, and we've heard things like the couple that, that prays together stays together or the family that prays together stays together. Um, and again, I, I, I don't want any negative comments about this. But um, that's, not, that, that, that's a good thing. But if you're not growing together as a couple, if you're not growing together in your understanding, if you're not growing together in your, you know what, and I'll, I'll, say, it, I'll say it like this for the church folks, if you're not growing together in your couple's ministry, not necessarily that you are ministering to other people, 
but how you relate to one another and how you minister to one another. If you're not growing, good morning, um, Gwen. That, Gwen. Um, if if you're not growing in that in that first your your most important couples ministry, um, th then you're probably on the wrong on the wrong track. You're probably on the wrong track, uh, and, and you need to you need to find a way to get back on that track, or under or at least understand that that's the most important couples ministry that you have. Because uh, you know, a lot of church people want to want to be pastors and ministers and. Prophetess and, and evangelists and apostles, and uh, you know they're looking. Yeah. They're looking and there's that, nothing wrong with looking that. Looking for that title, but you need to be looking for that lifestyle you first. You need to live the life of what you what your title is, um, not just be be carrying the title. And then at work, half the people at work don't even like to sit next to you because of your attitude and you because you think you're better than them because you're a Christian. But you're not reflecting God's love. Yeah. So, so we we a lot of times are very very perfunctory um, in um, how you know what we say and what we do. Sort of like it's some uh, uh, the, the secret formula that if we say these things um, and if we do these things in, in in a certain way that there'll be benefit from them. Um, so we should. So it's it's okay to look at some of these sayings and go. Is that really? Is that really how you do it? Is that really how you do it? Um, is it just is it just as simple as praying uh, as praying together? Well, no. Because, again, we go back to where we started a few minutes ago. N no, because if that was if that was the key, then we would probably never see any uh, divorce divorces, in the especially in the pulpit. Probably never see any of that uh, because you would think that somebody who had who had gone that far had fi would be able to figure it out. And that would be the key, and they'd be able to tell everybody, and that would be the deal. That would be that would be enough, but it's obviously not. Um, but because we see um, that there are older couples sometimes, or even actually even younger couples, um, who are involved in church ministry, a pastor, uh, and and their spouse, uh, and they've been at it for a long they've been at it for a long time, and they're able to, and and they seem to be able to. Um, to grow as their church grows, as their ministry grows, and they don't seem to have, you know, what? How, how do they get to? Uh, it's a, you know, it's the 50th anniversary of the church, and the 75th anniversary of their, you know, what of their marriage. Because we can, if you if you deconstruct it and go back, those people grew together. Yes. They had a they had common interests, and they had a common thought of what they wanted, and they wanted. And they started want they wanted the same thing, and they were able to work on the same way to get there. Um, so they, the, the, those folks grew together, and that's I think that that's I think that that's really the most important goal, um, or one of the most important goals as as we grow as as married couples especially. Are you growing together? Are you both moving uh, moving moving closer together than moving farther apart? Uh, even as you grow, even as you grow as, in, as individuals, because you're going to have to grow as an individual. Because if you don't grow as an individual, you're not going to be able to do the, some of the things that um, that you say you want. You're not, you're not going to be able to accomplish them because we all have to grow as people. We all have to get older and smarter and wiser. We have to. I mean, we have to do all that stuff. Uh, but the trick is, can can you do it together? Can you do it together? And like Debbie said, at the same pace, uh, because it, when when somebody shoots off and they grow, and the other person may feel jealous or left behind, or yes. or you know, or, or that kind of stuff. Or so. find the a commonality with somebody who's not in the marriage, or who's not as far far along in their self development mm -hmm. as your spouse, um, or who doesn't think that that's so important. Uh, so it's really important that we um, that we think about. How are we? How are we growing? Um, Dr. Keith and and, and 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 Bonnie mentioned that they read the, that they read the same books at the same time, so that they have something to talk about. When you go on that date night, you know we talk about you need to have a date night or a date weekend or something, and uh, it's often that when you're on that date, you know you're sitting there, and we all have these things here. And, you're, and both the couples are sitting there, but they're not talking. 
they're on their phone. Well, yeah, you and, know. And when they are talking, they're talking about they're hardly ever talking about anything of any consequence or anything important. Uh, you know what? Younger couples are talking about the children uh, and what they have to do with the, you have you know what they have to do concerning the kids um, and and the schedule and school and that kind of stuff. Or they're talking about you know you know what and and you can get the conversation started about about talking about work and we talk about work all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but do we talk about how we're growing? You know how do you feel about that and or. What do you what do you think about that? I I'd, I'd like what do you think about that better than how you feel about that? Uh, what do you what do you think about that? What do you think we should be doing? Uh, what's the next step? Um, how are we how are we going to how are we going to grow this YouTube channel? <laughs> what should be our next step? Uh, what do you th I mean? What do you think? Uh, let's try this. Um, have you looked at you know things that that grow you together? Uh, Yes, and some of those questions for guys may may scrape against you a little bit, but that's okay. You're you're a big guy; you can take it. Uh, but you know what? Those kinds of you know, those kinds of discussions that improve the quality of your relationship, as opposed to just you know, you spend time till you get back to the hotel room. <laughs> what did I say that out loud? Out loud. Oh. <laughs> Are you offended? And, and then the hotel room is, is a big important part. Of well, the hotel too. room is cool too. That's fine. Do, <laughs> do that too. Do that too. As often as possible. Yeah, you know. Doesn't have to be the Ritz. <laughs> doesn't have to be the Ritz all the time. That's cool. It doesn't have but to be. It's nice. But it's nice. The Ritz is nice or, you know, the nice Marriott or whatever. Uh, but, you know what? It's, it's that continuous growth um, as a couple that is extremely important in the quality of your relationship. Otherwise, everything just becomes habit. And again, you, everything becomes perfunctory. Everything just becomes um, routine, routine and mundane. And mundane and just how you do things. And, 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 and you, hey, hey, brother-in-law, and you have to have, I think you have to have some routine because, you, because otherwise you have chaos. I, under, I understand that. You have that. to have order and routine in order to, to keep things in line. But there are times when you need to well, and, go. well, that and, and 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 what's important is that the you can't depend on the order and the routine to grow together. Because how, again, how do you get a plant to how do you get a plant to grow? You prune it. You prune back off the parts that don't work. You prune it. That's how you get plant. Yes. That's how you get plants to grow. And so you have to take care of them. So the constant just well, just keep watering it. Well. But it needs food. It needs food and nutrients. It needs, nutrients it, it needs and pruning, pruning and and taking care of. You know what? So there's more. There's more to it. Like praying would just be if you just watered it every day, and it may survive, but it may not grow. It may not die. And it may not produce any fruit. There you go. Um, so they. I mean, and that's the most important thing right there. Yeah. So watering it every day is fine. Good. Or watering it as much as it needs watering is fine. You got. You, you got to do that at least because if you don't water it, it's going to die. Um, but that's it, going to die. Yeah, yeah, you said going to die. Going to die. G-O-N, comma, die. You have to have the prayer in your relationship, but that's not the only thing that's going to keep you going for many years. Yeah, that's not That's not the only thing. And I think that some people will, I think some of you will, 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 will listen to that and you will first be taken aback, but if you just... Take a deep breath and think about it for a second and think about your own relationships uh, and that maybe that that was kind of a missing piece. Maybe. Um, possibly. So that's that's really the idea, you know, the idea or, 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 or relationships that you've seen from people who, you know what, strangely enough, because we always scratch our head when we, when we see somebody who's been married 20 years or 30 years and then they get divorced. I'm like, what happened? What? How long is it? Invest all that time. And now I start thinking, how long has that been going on? Mm -hmm. Cause I don't, I, I, I rarely think that, oh, something happened last week and she got mad and now they're divorced after no. 30 years. It's been brewing for a while. Yeah. And, um, and some close friends of ours across the street that happened this last month. 
Yeah. Um, people who have been that we've known since we since actually we were here first, right? Yeah. Um, but it's been a lot. But it's been a long time. It's been almost twenty years. That yeah. We've been so like our neighbors. Yeah. And um, and and again, you we can uh, we can. No one has X-ray vision, so you can't see through the walls of people's houses. So we hardly ever know. So you hardly ever know what's going on in people's houses. You may think you know what's going on, but you never know what's going on in people's houses. Uh, what's going on in, in their day-to-day -day relationship. Uh, you just you, you just never know. Um, so sometimes, so oft oftentimes we're, um, we're, we're surprised by certain things. Um, and I, I was shocked. But um, yeah. it is what it is, you know. Nobody wanted my opinion because they would have asked. <laughs> Too bad that they didn't because, you know. I have, an, I have an opinion. Have you guessed I have an opinion? He has a lot. I have a lot of opinions. <laughs> Fortunately for most y'all, I keep most of them myself. But uh, I, have, I have opinions. <laughs> he, not totally to himself. Well, most of them. <laughs> most of them I keep to myself. But you know, and, and and you have to ask me. And if you ask me, I'm gonna tell you. So, uh, and that's and, and you know, and that's the thing. So if you are, if you have questions about this particular um, subject, please write them in the comments. Um, for those for, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, what, write them in the comments. And uh, we'll get to them. I promise. You know, we. I think we're really good about getting to comments responding. and responding. Um, so if you've got some questions about this, this trek that seems to be a little, you know, you, people are thinking, what, what? That's not the churchy thing to say. That's not the hyper religious thing to say. Okay, you're right. It's not. And we're not hyper religious. Well, I'm not. You know, because we do. We're not of this world, but we, but we definitely have to live here. Mm -hmm. um, that's for sure. That's that's where our that's where our station is now. Um, that's for sure. Our station is here now. Um, we you know at some point our station will be heaven, but right now our station is is on this rock. This planet. So we have to um, be able to live here and live here together. So I hope that um, that you will at least and it's what we hope to do. Uh, you, I'm not trying to chastise anybody. No. I'm not trying to tell because, you, you're again, doing it wrong. Again, you're we don't wrong. know everything. We're still in the process of, of, of evaluating ourselves. Uh, I think this past weekend, we did some pruning. Yeah, it was hard. You know, it what? was tough. It was tough. You know, we, got, you know, we were at this conference, and Dr. Keith Johnson uh, spent a day and a half being a coach. And, and sort of getting into the face of the people who were there. And cool, the cool thing is that a lot of the people there were pastors. Now, we, I didn't think that I didn't think there'd be that many pastors there, but there were a lot Most of, of them were. a lot of pastors there. Uh, and he was up at, he he was up in their grill too, you know. And everybody felt like a little charred, you know, a little bit. Oh dear. Don't get don't get us wrong. It was very it was great. inspiring. It was great. I mean, we, we got some fire put on us, and we feel very inspired to, to move to the next level. But it also made you uh, put the mirror up in your face. That's important. And look at yourself and see, you know, you ain't all that hot stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get it together. Well, and, 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 as, and even as good as you think things are going, um, there's always, there, you, know, you know, the phrase is, there's always room for improvement. And, yes. there, and, and there is. And there's always a next level to go to. I don't think any of us, in, in our in our personal lives or our relational lives, have gained um, this self actualization where you're fulfilling all of the potential of you as an individual or all the potential of you as a, 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 as a married as a couple, couple as a married couple. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we often talk about people who are power couples, uh, and, and 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 that's sort of a new phrase. But we have the ability to be that. That power couple, that couple that in their, you know, in their circle is a couple that not only everybody looks to, but uh, a couple that can affect change. Mm -hmm. um, so there's another, there's always another level to go to, uh, and just and 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 I and I don't want to get I don't want people to get me wrong. Things can be going well. I'm not saying that that you should be doing this if things only if things are aren't going well. Things could be going. Perfectly. Fabulously, mm -hmm. you. Sh I mean, you. You can have. You be living in a, in in a house that you want to live in. You be driving a car you want to be driving. Uh, I mean, y'all could be having sex four or five times a day because uh, y'all both work from home. 
rock on. Uh, things could be going fabulously for you. But don't think that that's everything. Don't There's think that more. you've attained the top level. There's always a little better. And I think that, that it is incumbent upon you, especially if your marriage is that good, to attain the next level. Not just for yourself, but for the people around you. For the couples across the street that may be struggling. Mm -hmm. Who don't really see, because of what they're going through, that y'all got it together. And you think that, you, that 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 should be an example, that they should be looking to you, but because of what they're going through, they, they didn't see. They couldn't see it. They couldn't see it because maybe the level, the next level that you should go to is being able to not to, to know people are struggling and be strong enough to knock on their door and invite them over um, for some cure of coffee and say, we were just, I'm just think we were just thinking about you, you know? And I think that's why that bothered us so much. It's because tell, we, tell like we, should we have were, done something. yeah, we were friends, we're friends with them, but we never got deep into being a friend with them. You know, we, we invited them over to, for little things like during the hurricane, we got to know them a little better in, last year, but not in depth enough to know that they were hurting, Yeah, that they were, their, their relationship was suffering. And I feel like we 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 should have caught that yeah we, we miss i i know and i know that i that, that i feel like, like i missed an opportunity uh because you know what the um one of the spouses uh and i had a lot of actually have a lot in common we do the same we actually do the same job mm -hmm. um and i feel like i missed an i feel like i missed an opportunity and frankly i don't want to miss those opportunities again to help people you know who are, who are hurting at that level um so part of this past week was was to how can I be better, and then how can and then how can we be better as a couple in in, in helping people who are going through such, um, not just the perfunctory. Well, I'll pray for you. No, and that's cool because you got to do that too. But that's not always. That's not enough. That's just not enough all the time. It isn't. You can't just say, well, I'll pray for you, and then. And then pray for them once while you're thinking about it or not. And then, because people will, will need more than that. If somebody is somebody is hungry in the street, you saying, I'll pray for you, doesn't fill their belly. No. It, you know what? It doesn't. And I know that you know, know, some of the super spiritual that, you know, that watch, the, watch this program are going to start looking at us a little cross-eyed. And that's okay. But tell me, tell, tell me when I'm wrong. So I guess that we kind of kind of fired up about uh, uh, about that because of what we saw and I just felt like we should you know what I, I felt like I could have done that I should have done more I should have had I should have been brave enough I should have been confident enough to do more and I wasn't because now he's he's gone yeah and we may not even see him again you know what what's happened has happened he was embarrassed well yeah yeah of course so and I don't know if I you know and. Again, it, it, it happened and, and it may be too late and there's nothing I can do about it at this point. But I wish that I at least had had a shot before, you know. One of those things like you got up the bat and you didn't swing the bat. And if you had swung it, something good may have happened. Mm -hmm. But you, you didn't. You a home run. You may have gotten a couple of bases. You may have, Or you might have struck out. But at least, at you, least sw you, tried. you swung the bat. Um, and I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even get up to bat. I didn't. I. 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 I stayed. I, we stayed in the dugout, um, and I feel bad about that. So this is. I mean. So all these things sort of go together, and how you improve, how you improve and grow as individuals, and how you improve and grow as couples, um, are very. It, that's very very important. So we got to get. We got to move on past um, the the couple that prays together, stays together. It's it, it's, it's a couple. That grows together, goes together, because we, because we're all, because we, get, we, we're going to some place, and after thirty, almost thirty-one years, on December fifth, it'll be thirty-one years, right? Yeah, yes, thirty-one years. Um, now we've got to. I mean, at this point, we're going to the same. We have to decide where we're going and go to the same place. Because when you see people who have been married, you know, at twenty, twenty-five years, and now they're not going to the same place anymore. 
that's not God's best. And um, I think we need to acknowledge the, the tragedy that has happened in Florida. Yeah, uh, we didn't get to do that because we didn't do the show last week. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, there is a, uh, y'all might have heard, uh, it was in all the papers. Uh, there was a, a Category 4, almost Category 5 hurricane that went through uh, the Panhandle of yeah. uh, 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 Florida and Ground Zero was Bay County, which is Panama City. A lot of you who have, who have not been there, at least heard of Panama City, it's a huge spring break place. Um, it won't be this year because basically uh, Panama City and Mexico Beach were flattened. Um, a lot of people lost their homes. Most people lost their, their homes. Lives. There were 19 people so far that they have uh, that that have been found um, deceased uh, that didn't heed the warning. Uh, places with no power, no no running water, and it's going to be. And I, I'm going to tell you, it's going to be that way for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, please don't think that at the end of um, at the end of the week that everything and as you're hearing stories about power being restored in places that at the end of the week is going to be everything's going to be okay no no it's, it's going to take a while it's going to take it's, it's going to take a long it's going to take a long time and a lot of volunteers and prayer and finance and money it's going to and take money. a lot so please don't think about emptying, emptying out your closets of winter gear and putting them in a box because some churches do that they have clothing drives. Okay, so they don't need clothes. Let me right help. Now. Let us help you for a second. Please don't send boxes of winter clothes to people who live in the Panhandle of Florida. First of all, they've got nowhere to keep this stuff. Mm -hmm. They have nowhere to keep this stuff. And I mentioned this on um, I, I, a live I did on Wednesday night. Did I did my do I do, do, I, do, I, did my, do I do my live on Thursday? Was it on, on or, Thursday? Or it may have been Friday. I don't remember. I don't remember either. I'm tired. <laughs> I think it was Friday. Okay. We talked about, I talked about this. Now, I know that we don't, you know, we're, we're sort of iffy about giving money to big charities. I get that. Um, but what the Red Cross does is, as much as they can, they take those funds and they buy the supplies that people need from the local area to help it, to help the, that economy get sort of, you know, revved up again. Uh, because that's really important uh, and they know exactly what people need and then they don't have to transport it for a, a thousand miles um, so people can get it a lot quicker and it's exactly what they need mm -hmm. um, so it's better to just donate just just to give don't, ten just to give ten bucks and and don't think you can give ten bucks this week and go huh I'm done I no. saved it no because this is gonna go on for months yeah they need help con consistently and don't try a lot of people are packing up going up there taking things they would rather that you not do that because once you get there there's no hotels to stay so they don't want extra people there trying to find somewhere to live unless you're a first responder yeah unless and, and um, unless you're a nurse or a doctor or you work uh or you're a firefighter or or or, or, or you work for an electric company or whatever yeah don't go don't get in your pickup truck and go riding up there because you know what situations are such that it may be you that maybe need that might need rescuing at some point mm -hmm. and now instead of dealing with what they were dealing with before now they're dealing with you so if you want to go up there it's probably best to wait a couple of months until they can get things in order to where you can help build homes or help you know clean up some of the rubble and different things like that you know it would be a good idea to be able to go up there and do that but right now, they're just trying to find survivors and, and people who perished and to just get it all to organize. It's, it's sad. It's awful, but um, again, it's, it, it's better that you don't go just rolling up there now and become part of the problem. Um, that's really what we don't want you to do. Um, it's better to, I mean, the Red Cross has a a, a program where you can text a certain uh, amount. Yes. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you, you can text them. You and can donate. Y'all can look that up uh, and then donate from right from your cell phone. So do that. Do that. Mm -hmm. And of course, pray. Pray that 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 nineteen is the end of the death. That they find people alive. Alive. 
you know, the news makes me, you know, makes me kind of angry. They go, well, the the death toll is 19 and it's expected to rise. And no one says, I don't, the death toll is 19 and hopefully it won't get any worse. Yeah. Nobody says that. No, they don't. <laughs> well, I, don't I don't get it. We, we want you to find people alive yeah. or not find any at all. Yeah, they, they got out. We just didn't know they left. Mm -hmm. They split. They're they, in another state somewhere. And they're fine. Something. So they're I, fine. So that's what I want. And and that's the main thing that I, when pe when you hear, you're in an area where hurricanes are and stuff, and if you, they say it's going to be a four, get out. Get out. And this was tough because it it it, it, it was it We've was a one there, it was a one on one. We know how, how it is to to be debating whether you want to oh, leave yeah. or go yeah, or whatever yeah. like that. But if they say it's a four, go go just go, just go. Uh, you can get a house or someone to live again, mm -hmm. but the I mean the chance of you getting a life again is none. And uh, so you and, and and you don't want to go like that. You don't want to go in that sort of terror. So. All right. Well, we got to get going because we've been at this for a bit, and I wrote "spouse" instead of "spouse" on the survey. Mm -hmm. I did, and I and I will fix that. Uh, I will fix that. But um, in any case, we got to get out of here, maybe for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do that. We're at 50, and we've been at 50 for a week. Help time. us get to 100. 100. It's time to grow. Thank you again. We'll see you again. Peace. Peace.